In these uncertain times, more and more people are forced to take a hard look at their needs versus wants and are looking to reduce unnecessary spending. Our next guest says one way to put more money in your pocket, reduce your energy costs, and the steps are simple. Jeff Callender is the co-owner of Power Windows and Siding, just named the fourth largest remodeler in the country by Qualified Remodeler Ma Magazine. Congratulations. Thank That's you. fabulous, Jeff. Appreciate it. Good to be here. I understand uh, you were also honored by somebody else? Yeah, we're, something we're very proud of, obviously, and Window and Door Magazine honored us as their Dealer of the Year as well at the same time. Well, congratulations Thank on that as well. So tell us about your business. You started when? Uh, 1992. Uh, I no longer say that I look young uh, <laughs> like I used to, but uh, 1992, so it's been quite a while. We're uh, headquartered out of Philadelphia and uh, have expanded up to the Connecticut market. We cover the whole, the whole state of Connecticut. You've certainly come a long way since you started. Uh, yeah, yeah, we cover now seven states. We have 650 employees throughout the region, and, uh, and that's, uh, that's our, our lifeblood, really, the employees. Well, you say that you really owe your success to your employees. Yeah, uh, and, and certainly a lot of the other things uh, in the economy haven't hurt uh, as well. We talk about the down economy and, and how you're able to thrive in such a market, and really it's been a help to us. I mean, you have people that uh, are, j are jobless. Jobless claims are up naturally, so we're finding a better caliber individual who we can bring aboard, uh, people who aren't necessarily buying new homes uh, or repairing their own instead, and that's helped, and certainly the stimulus package as well, which maybe we'll get to at the end. So your company has really survived, can really survive throughout any type of economic time? Sure, sure, we hope so. Let's talk about some ways that people can save energy and money as well. The first thing you say is let the sunshine in. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, certainly depending on the time of year, right? Uh, really when it comes to energy saving, there are really commonsensical ways to do it as long as you're disciplined. Some of them ranging from the, uh, the air ducts. Don't block the air duct with a sofa. And if you have to, use a deflector instead. Oh, I can. Oh, I better check my living room. I think we are. <laughs> uh, blinds and drapes, keep them closed. Even at night, you can keep the heat in. Letting the sun shine in in the wintertime, yeah, keep them open during the day. Things like that can all add up and help. Uh, the, your, your water heater, right, in the, in the basement. Uh, lower the temperature. It doesn't have to be scalding hot. The refrigerator and freezer don't have to be so cold. Our milk doesn't have to be that cold. Right? That's true. You say turn off lights in unoccupied rooms. Sure, there's so many uh, wasted areas that we don't use. Even, even things that remain plugged in, uh, computers that we now have all over the house are drawing energy we all day long. We need to disconnect those? Turn them off. We're not using them half the time, right? Right. So turn them off. Sure. And just put them back on when you need to. Sure. Uh, take, take shorter showers. You know, that, that all helps. Maybe you don't turn on the pressure so hard. Doesn't, it's not necessary. Now, you say use the appliances efficiently as well. Right, right, right. Uh, you know, washer and dryer, <clears throat> make sure that they're full. Uh, dishwasher, same thing. Run it when it's full. Is there a better time to use those appliances? Uh, not necessarily. That, that, that wouldn't create a whole lot of... Uh, of savings. It's yeah. really just right. making sure that you're using them uh, as efficiently. efficiently. Right, right, right. Plugging your home's leaks... Yeah, uh, you can, uh, you'd be surprised at how much you'll save either through uh, the, the flu uh, in your, in your in fireplace, the, in the chimney, in the chimney yes. or even in the, where the wires come into your home, the cable wires and what have you, the electrical wires. Th those spaces really leak a lot of energy, and it's real easy to get the little spray can of, of insulation and fill them up. That's true, I've seen that. Now, you also say to install low flow shower heads. Yeah, so now we get into an area where, you, where there's a slight investment involved, right? Uh, low flow shower heads are a great example. You and I mentioned the programmable thermostat, which is a fabulous way uh, to save Every, energy. Everyone really needs to put that in their home if they can. Have to, have to. They're, they're so inexpensive at the big box stores and, and, and they're easy to install as well. All right, but the, the, the low flow shower heads, how does that really save money? Uh, it just, it gives you the pr pressure without using the volume of water that you might uh, need otherwise or, or have from the regular shower heads. And it's really uh, impactful. And it does cause a little bit at, at the front end, but in the back end you save a lot more. Sure, and it adds up over time. And CFL light bulbs as well are, are mm -hmm. another big saver, seven, ten dollars I think per light bulb per year. Uh, and they last 10 years longer than the other light bulbs as well. Well, you also recommend choosing Energy Star appliances and, and electronics. Sure. Why is that? Uh, well, they're just higher efficient products. And, and that's been a buzzword now, I think. And the government talks about energy savings and energy efficient and Energy Star, stimulus package, all these, all these jumbled words come into play. But yes, that makes a lot of sense. And then, of course, we talk about the programmable thermostat. Mm -hmm. And that's really simple to, to install. Very simple. Sealed ducts as well, you say. 
Yeah, we, we, we're talking about not blocking them so much. Right. Or, or just being efficient with the way you manage them. Maybe one room you're never in, well, let's close that one off, the damper, and let's get the air flowing into other rooms. All right, high efficient windows. Now, I know oh, that's that, the best that way. is the best way of saving money, right? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, well, certainly other things as well. HVAC efficient systems, attic insulation, things like that. But uh, yeah. Windows, siding, roofing, when all we, these things save energy and big time. When we say high efficient windows, what are we talking about here? Uh, well, we're really talking about windows that, at least according to the government, meet certain criteria, certain stipulations, like a, uh, a low U value, for example, which is the measure of uh, heat loss through a product. And, uh, and that's what gets its rating of a, of a U value of 0 0.30 or better, uh, in, a, in other words, to get the stimulus tax credit. Are they generally more expensive than your regular windows? Uh, not necessarily. Really? No. I, think, I think the standards have come up, and they're, they're increasing really every year. Um, and uh, what we sell, you know, at Power Windows and Siding, we have a product that is a 0.27 U-value, the lower the better. And uh, so we're, we're a few years, uh, hopefully, ahead of the game. How does siding uh, be more, how is that more energy efficient as well? Well, we're now adding another layer of insulation. So it's really more about the insulation than the siding itself. Um, and the, uh, ins the siding that we use, for example, is a vinyl siding, but the backer is a form-fitted foam insulation that goes on the back of the panel to add R ratings to the, uh, to the walls. Excellent. All right. And what products qualify for the energy tax credit? Uh, windows and siding. But <laughs> of course. A lot more than that. A lot of the solar products as well, of course, HVAC systems. And um, it it's expires at the end of the year. So, so we need to get it um, in. Yeah, we got it. It has to be it. installed by then, too. Okay. Yeah. If you want more information on power windows and siding located in Stratford, all the information is on the screen. And we'll also have it on our website. Jeff, thanks again for being here. Thanks for having me.